National Educator. Hello student, I'm Mary Kamau, teaching biology form 3, lesson 1. The topic of discussion is classification 2, subtopic Kingdom Monera. So in this topic, the introduction was done in form 1, where classification 1 was done. Just a quick recap of what was discussed in form 1 is a definition of the term classification, which was, da, which was a grouping of living organisms based on their structures. So when we are grouping these living organisms, we use their external structures and we put them in one group known as a taxon. So in form one, there were seven taxonomic units of classification which were discussed. So this classification enables us to arrange information about living organisms in an orderly manner in order to avoid chaos and confusion. Student, if I give you an, a living organism such as a rabbit, you name it by your mother language, scientifically we may not communicate because that organism has different names. So classification enables us to communicate where these living organisms are given scientific names. All living organisms are scientifically identified by two names. That is the genus name and the specific name. So that classification is known as binomial nomenclature. By means to, by means to, that is why we have the two names, the genus and the specific name. And therefore, the definition of the term binomial nomenclature is the scientific double naming of living organisms using the genus and the specific name. So the two names give us the species of an organism. So we have different uh, features that are used to classify these living organisms. Some of the features used to classify animals includes, number one, the body symmetry, so some of the living organisms have bilateral symmetry. That means they can be divided into two equal parts. While others have radial symmetry, meaning they cannot be divided into two equal parts. They can be divided into several parts for the same uh, feature. Presence or absence of the body cavity, some such as organisms belonging to phyram arthropoda have a serum in their body cavity. Presence of the alimentary canal, some of them have oral canals or oral cavity, others have anal openings. Presence and the type of excretory organs, so different living organisms have different excretory organs, such as as we use the kidney as our excretory organ. Type and number of external appendages. So some organisms have six number of appendages, others have two, others have eight appendages. Appendages are lips, the legs. Others have different types of skeletons which can be used to classify these organisms. 
For example, we have ourselves who have endoskeletons. Organisms such as locusts have exoskeletons, which can be used to classify them.